Probably one of the most technologically advanced items that came out of World War I was the submarine. They were never meant to be found. Their whole purpose is to hide. And when a submarine is lost during war and disappears, and then all of a sudden someone stumbles across this, that's pretty amazing. You know, we've got this incredible story coming out of Scotland now where a World War I U-boat had recently been discovered. Now we have this U-boat crew who say that they were attacked by some kind of a beast, some kind of a monster, and that they had abandoned their ship. They had to leave their submarine. It was so badly damaged. It sounds like something out of 20,000 leagues under the sea. Yet it's real. Who knows what we'll find? I mean, that, that's the exciting thing. That's the fun thing. I mean, do we all believe in sea monsters? I don't know, but I just worked a couple of years ago on the giant squid. And that was something that pictures have been drawn for hundreds of years, tales of these giant monsters. And we finally filmed them, we finally found them. You know, I mean, it's that kind of thing. Things still exist out in the, uh, out in the ocean and out in the sea that, that, we don't, uh, that we don't know. Ever since man has put to sea, there has been a mythology about sea monsters, about these great legendary beasts attacking sailing vessels. And in the region where we're looking for this submarine, I mean, it's steeped in hundreds of years of Scottish mythology. There is such a long history of people claiming that they've seen the beast of Loch Ness that it's easy to dismiss it until you meet someone who says that they've, they've seen this thing. I looked in the loch and there's huge commotion. Very shiny black, not a wave. Well, yeah, it's not a nice monster. And it's huge, absolutely huge. And I said, well, and he said, oh, it was an otter. And I said, that's not an otter, mate. Uh, I think there's a phenomenon here or, or something that is really interesting, really, I would like to get an answer to. And we had a target today. It didn't look like a thermal to me. It looked more biological, but I don't know what it was. Diving in Scotland in that area is pretty challenging. It's usually, you know, this big currents, visibility can be all over the place. You really never know what you're going to find in the water. And, you know, you jump in the water on Loch Ness and it's, it's um, I mean, just, just the whole environment is creepy. You, you definitely get a little, uh, you know, the, the hairs raised on the back of your neck. Every noise, every shadow just goes right through you like electricity. Because honestly, you just don't know what you're going to see. I want to be able to not only dive for adventure, but maybe be able to answer something, find something on that submarine that may validate the fact that this was sunk by some legendary sea creature.